Okay, hello, hi, and welcome to my channel, Super Linux. Please subscribe uh, and uh, like our channel to see every update from our channel. Okay, click the subscribe button and the like button to get the updates. Now, in uh, this video, guys, we're going to explain to you how to rectify the uh, inverted image of uh, a telescope. When you look at the inside the telescope, okay, your images will be looking like this. This is first. What we have here is the instruction manual of the Celestron Astromaster Series Telescope. I'm going to share the file with you. Okay, this is the file. Okay, I'm going to share the file with you in the description box. Okay. And here are sample images of a car plate from uh, California. Okay. And this is, of course, the natural, natural way of the uh, plate. Okay, this is how you see it in your naked eye. Okay, this is how in a mirror it will look like. This is how it looks like inside a, a telescope. Okay, now as you can see, uh, the image is reflected and inverted. See, this is a reflection. Look at the four. Okay, and see how it's inverted over here. So we want to take it from this state to this state. Okay, so I'm going to list the adapters. Okay, I'm not going to use a camera uh, to tell you exactly uh, and show you a real display of what happens. Okay, but uh, I'm going to list only the uh, in the description box uh, the adapters that I'm talking about uh, using uh, the uh, orders from AliExpress. Uh, uh, like uh, website and uh, also I'm gonna pause my hand sometimes okay for a little bit in order for you to use a search by image inside your app okay uh, now uh, the first uh, one adapter I'm gonna tell you about but please understand that ha that's not to uh, inversion Okay, and does not uh, rectify the image, which is this one. Okay, I'm telling you about it because there's a one that's very similar to it and it does reflect, uh, does rectification. <coughs> very similar. Okay, it's not exactly it. Okay, uh, this one has a 90 degrees. Okay, so let's zoom out a little bit so you can take a picture of it. Okay, I'll find it online. So it has a mirror inside sitting over here, normal flat plane mirror here. So look at it, this is a mirror here. Okay, and this is my finger, so it's a reflection of the finger. Okay, so what this uh, does is uh, the image first is uh, only reflected, okay? It will not correct the, uh, the like uh, make go uh, making it go back standing upright normally. Okay, not go like this uh, to the normal side standing up. It will go reflected this way and still still this way. But but uh, this okay will be reflected. Okay, so you have to imagine as if those two okay are inverted. Okay and uh, you just reflected it okay that's it uh, it will not really uh, like uh, correct the image okay and make it uh, correct now to correct it okay uh, and before telling about you about correcting it just understand this is how we install it okay and you will be you might you might need a barrel lens in order to get it focused okay uh, and then you install your eyepiece over here, okay, and this is your whole telescope. Okay, let me zoom out a little bit. Okay, so this is how it looks like. Okay, and you will be, of course, standing like from this side and looking uh, inside it like uh, while bending. Okay, now the other one, okay. Uh, is this one okay this is a 45 degree uh, diagonal this is what they call them diagonals okay this one are the 90 degrees they're called diagonals but this is uh, a diagonal pentaprism 
the, uh, the mirror is called a mirror a mirror uh, diagonal okay and the 45 degrees is the degree between this and this this pipe and this pipe okay and the prism is sitting inside okay this is a, just a piece of glass that uh, completely erects and rectifies and, and takes things back from this to here okay the natural way this is an inverted uh, the telescope this is the uh, natural way okay and of course to install it you will have to use this okay now um, sometimes your telescope is too weak because it has small uh, very short focal length like this one uh, you might use a barlow lens in order to uh, get it focused and install the barlow lens from this side not from this side okay not from the side of the eyepiece okay of the uh, prism so you install it like I have this is a barrel lens okay so you install it from this side not from this side okay and put the eyepiece so this side and your eyepiece is like this okay and then you install it with a telescope like this okay this way cool So why? Because we want to make the focal length of the telescope uh, virtually, apparently, longer. So it's like the focal length of the telescope maybe standing, it sits over here. So if I put a bar low, it will multiply it by, for example, 2x, 2 times, 3 times, whatever, in order to extend the focal length to some place over here, between this, between the uh, pentaprism and the telescope. Okay. okay. Uh, so it will shift the focus, uh, the focal point, uh, the focal plane to uh, somewhere to the front here. Okay. Okay, because if we put it, put it over here, the, like you can say, it's like a hook. Okay, uh, you know, like a hook to capture the uh, and catch the focal length as if it's a fish. So it, like when you have one hand, the fo focal length. Okay. Okay, like fishing. Okay, just like uh, you don't put it from here, put it from here. Okay, because won't reach. Okay, your hook won't reach. Okay, I'm just trying to use uh, figures of, of speech, like uh, beautiful figures of speech. Okay, and examples. Now, uh, and of course, the uh, 45 degrees will make you bent uh, in order to see. Now. Uh, the uh, now those okay those and uh, this okay I mean this one and this one uh, I'm going to uh, usually are used on a, a refractor telescope okay but if you have a reflector telescope like maybe this one okay like this one okay or maybe a, this is a Newtonian or maybe a uh, Schmidt Cassegrain, okay. Look for an SCT telescope. Look for SCT telescope. You'll understand me. You see it, okay. Now, uh, you can use these, but my guys, uh, don't, okay. You can, but don't, okay. It's like uh, inappropriate, okay. Uh, they're not meant for them, okay. You will have also, in order to use them, use a barrel lens, okay, in order to get focused, but don't use them. The proper way to use them is those, those, this one, and this one, and anything like that. Okay, there are pentaprisms directly can be used directly on a, a Newtonian or an a Schmidt Cassegrain. Okay, by putting the uh, putting it like this. Okay, over this side. This is where the eyepiece goes in the picture. Okay, so so this is where you install it this way. Okay. So this one has a Barlow lens inside it, and as, as I said, the Barlow lens increases the zoom, okay, and decreases the uh, field of view at the same time, okay, and it's meant as a method to get an equivalent eyepiece. So, for example, let's say this is a pure, purely, but only a Barlow lens. This has this is a Barlow lens plus a, a rectifier at the same time, okay. So. This barrel lens, okay, this is a 1.5 barrel lens. This is, uh, by the way, uh, scarce these days. 
okay, they stopped manufacturing them as far as I know, okay, and the good thing is that they are 1.5, not two, like not two times 1.5, which means like one and add a little bit, little bit, just a little bit, okay, zoom just in order to get focus, they don't have to really magnify it, okay, I just want to make the uh, focal length of the telescope get extended a little bit just in order to catch it, okay, like I, like I said, okay. Uh, I mean, so uh, you install this eyepiece, for example, any eyepiece, okay? Let's say, for example, this eyepiece has a 20 millimeters eyepiece, okay? Uh, focal length. This is 20 millimeters focal length. So uh, with uh, uh, with the bar law, it will make up an equivalent eyepiece of 10 millimeters, okay? An equivalent eyepiece of 10 millimeters. Okay, now... Uh, So just simply, we get this and install it over here, okay? As I said, let's just give me a chance to take a picture of it, like we said. Okay, take the picture of a snapshot, okay? And the number of the model. And uh, just as I said, okay, you just install it this way, okay, and this way. Come on. Okay, and this way, and that's, this is how you get your own telescope going this way. Now, same things with this uh, angel eyes rectifier. Okay. Okay. Um, and the good thing about this angel eyes rectifier is that it has screw threads here, okay, which it allows you to do the following. I have the uh, SLR camera from Nikon. Okay, and then we can just open this, get the ring, T ring, they call it, an F mount 248. Okay, get the one that's suitable for your uh, DSLR camera. If it's a Nikon, get the one for Nikon. If it's a Sony, get uh, if it's a uh, what else, uh, uh, maybe uh, Canon. Let's just get the one that's suitable for you for you okay and just install it please before uh, anything try to look for the dot over here and match it with the dot over here okay just put them matching okay and click let it click like this as you heard okay repeat the video a little bit rewind it a little bit so you can hear the click and uh, here, you just screw this. And then you can see me. It's holding fairly. And then you can just simply get any, any I mean, your telescope and install it this way. Okay, I'm focused, of course, in order to get the image correctly. Right, that's it. Now, this is all using uh, maybe you want to say something like a barlow or something like a diagonal. Okay, there's a one that's easier. Okay, you can use this. This is an eyepiece from Celestron, but it's in plastic. The bad thing is that is that it is in plastic. If you want to take pictures of the sun, don't, don't, don't never. Okay. You know, using like if you want to do uh, some astrophotography, okay, using to get the, I mean, to get the uh, uh, sunspots, don't, okay, it will hurt this side, so, okay, it will melt it down, okay. So, you have this 20 millimeters erecting eyepiece from Celestron, okay, and this directly, once you put it on the eye as an eyepiece, okay, it will. Uh, 
uh, rectify the image right on okay and this is the only eyepiece I saw in the market that does rectification okay this is the only eyepiece I saw with this focal length 20 millimeters that can do rectification right on directly okay without need of any uh, the need of any uh, other barrel lens or whatever just like any normal eyepiece you just install it and that's it okay so I hope that you enjoyed this video okay don't forget to subscribe okay and uh, if I forgot something, please remind me and I'm gonna tell you about it in the comments. Okay? See you. Goodbye.